Hey guys, Alma here with another video helping you plan your Disney World vacation. There are a lot of choices when it comes to Disney resorts, so today we're doing a complete overview of the different resort categories. Now let's get started. There are over 30,000 rooms amongst more than 25 resorts on property, which include resorts, campsites, cabins, and Disney Vacation Club properties. The resorts are broken down into categories. Value, Moderate, Deluxe, and Deluxe Villa. And these categories range in price starting at around $99 per night. So, how do you pick the right room for you? As travelers, we all have different preferences, so the question you have to ask yourself is what do you value most? In the simplest way, is it affordability or amenities? It also depends a lot on which park you will be spending most of your time at, because you'll want to pick a resort that's close in proximity. Let me know what you value most for your vacation in the comments. Now let's jump right into the four main differences. If you're a family of five like mine, most of the value resorts can accommodate your family size with the exception of the family suites at Disney's All-Star Music Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Of course, you can always request connecting rooms, however, Disney can't guarantee your request will be fulfilled. Now some things you may want to consider are what important features you want in your room. What's a deal breaker for you? For example, the value and moderate resorts don't offer an outside space, such as a balcony or patio. You'll find those options at deluxe or deluxe villa resorts, so make sure you're weighing the benefits before you make your final decision. Disney properties are beautiful. The resorts are completely immersive and you find these experiences in any one of the Disney Resort hotels. A couple of my favorites are Disney's Art of Animation, where you walk through larger than life movie scenes featuring The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Finding Nemo, and Cars. My absolute favorite though is Disney's Polynesian Resort, where you feel like you're on a tropical island with the smells and the music. You'll often find me working in my office with music from the Polynesian Resort playing in the background. If you're anything like me, you enjoy having a variety of options that are close by. Disney World is huge, and it's definitely nice to have close options so you don't have to hop on a bus just to eat, unless of course you want to. At each of the value resorts, your options are food court and pizza delivery. At Moderates, your option will be food court and pizza delivery as well as a table service restaurant, except at the French Quarter. At your Deluxe, you'll find quick service, table service, some have character dining and full room service. When staying at a Disney World Resort hotel, you'll have access to free transportation to and from the parks and Disney Springs. This is a great convenience, however, not all resorts have the same transportation options. At Value Resorts, your option is the bus. Some Value Resorts, though, will also have access to Disney's new Skyliner gondola. Something to note here is that all three all-star resorts share buses during slower times of the year and the bus stops are often crowded at times, which can be pretty frustrating. At moderate resorts, your option is also the bus and some moderate resorts have water transportation. In addition, some will have access to that new gondola. Now at the deluxe and deluxe villa resorts, you'll also find bus and water transportation. A few will have monorail transportation and some are within walking distance to the parks. There are five value resorts. At All Star Movies, you'll find areas themed around the Mighty Ducks, 101 Dalmatians, Love Bug, Fantasia, and Toy Story. At All Star Music, you'll find areas themed around different types of music, Calypso, Jazz, Rock, Country, and Broadway. At All Star Sports, you'll find areas themed around popular sports such as baseball, football, surfing, tennis, and basketball. At Pop Century, you'll find themed areas from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And at Art of Animation, you'll find more recent themes such as The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Finding Nemo, and Cars. For transportation, your option at all the value resorts is the bus, and at Art of Animation and Pop Century Resort, you have access to Disney's Skyliner Gondola. These resorts have the smallest rooms on property at approximately 260 square feet, and they fit up to four adults. At All Star Music and Art of Animation, you'll find family suites, and those will fit up to six adults. Each of the value resorts will offer a pool for your cool down time, but just to let you know, they don't have any water slides or hot tubs, so if that's a deal breaker for you, you might want to consider moving up to a moderate or a deluxe resort. 
At each value resort, you'll find a food court and also a pool bar that will have a small menu as well. Moderate resorts are some of the largest resorts on property and are totally separate from the hustle and bustle of the Disney parks. However, there is a downside to larger resorts if you do choose a standard room since there could be a lot of walking to get to main sections of the resort such as the lobby or pool areas. My suggestion would be to reserve a preferred room which will guarantee you a better location on resort property. The preferred rooms do cost more and they are in higher demand so be sure to make your reservation sooner rather than later. The themes you'll find at moderate resorts are the Caribbean Islands at Caribbean Beach Resort, a blend of Spanish, Mexican, and Southwest American at Coronado Springs, American Frontier at Fort Wilderness, historic New Orleans at French Quarter, and rural Louisiana Bayou Side Retreat at Riverside. All moderate resorts offer bus transportation. Moderate resorts have multiple bus stops throughout the resort so you won't have to walk too far to catch a bus. Boat transportation is available at Fort Wilderness to the Magic Kingdom and from Port Orleans to Disney Springs. Moderate resorts offer two queen beds or one king bed and most can fit up to five guests. The moderate resort rooms are bigger than they are at value at approximately 314 square feet versus the 260 square feet you find at value resorts. Cabins are your largest option and they fit up to six guests and are equipped with a full-size kitchen, queen bed, bunk beds, and a pull-out sofa. In addition, there are some specialty themed rooms at some of the moderate resorts. At Caribbean Beach, you can find a pirate themed room, and at Riverside, you can find the royal guest rooms featuring Princess Tiana and her royal princess friends. The pool areas are another significant difference when you move up from value resorts. At moderate resorts, you get additional features like pool slides and hot tubs. In addition to the main pool, you'll also find some smaller quiet pools in various sections of the resort. There are some more dining options available at moderate resorts. At value resorts, you'll only have quick service options, but at moderate, you'll have quick service options as well as a table service restaurant. Except at Port Orleans French Quarter, which is a smaller resort. But that's where you'll find the beignets, which is worth at the very least a stop in. If you're staying at Port Orleans, you can also easily hop on the boat transportation and head to Disney Springs for some excellent dining options. There are eight deluxe resorts. Disney's Beach Club Resort, Yacht Club Resort, and Boardwalk Inn, located in the Epcot Resort area, Disney's Contemporary Resort, Wilderness Lodge, Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and Polynesian Village Resort, located in the Magic Kingdom Resort area, and Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, located in the Animal Kingdom Resort area. All deluxe resorts, except for the contemporary, have lush surroundings and immersive themes. The Polynesian has beautiful grounds, an impressive great ceremonial house, a perfectly themed volcano pool, and is lakeside with white sandy beaches. Animal Kingdom Lodge is surrounded by 43 acres of African savanna and features a remarkable lobby. With panoramic views of 30 species of African wildlife, there isn't really a resort that can compare. Wilderness Lodge is beautiful, a casual resort with a Pacific Northwest flavor. There's actually water that trickles down from a stream inside the lobby down to the pool below through waterways and waterfalls. The Grand Floridian has a gorgeous Victorian themed lobby, beautiful architecture, white sand beaches and immaculately maintained gardens. Beach Club is relaxing and family friendly residing in the Epcot area and has arguably the best pool area on property. The Boardwalk Inn will take you to an elegant 1940s Atlantic City resort and the ambiance of the boardwalk that surrounds it is a plus. Yacht Club is a great escape for couples looking for an intimate upscale resort with some nautical touches. Contemporary boasts a modern concrete architecture and is in an amazing location where you're able to walk to the Magic Kingdom from this resort. The Contemporary is also well known for the monorail that runs right through the center of the resort. As I mentioned earlier, there are a variety of transportation options throughout Walt Disney World Resort including motor coach, monorail, and water launch services. 
Rooms are largest at the Disney Deluxe Resorts from 344 square feet at the Wilderness Lodge and Animal Kingdom Lodge up to 440 square feet at the Grand Floridian. Most rooms have two queen beds or one king size bed plus a day bed and can sleep up to five plus an infant in a crib. The pools are creatively inspired and fun for the entire family with slides and hot tubs. Most of the deluxe hotels offer a marina and a wide array of activities including boat rentals. The deluxe Disney resorts offer excellent dining options with fancy sit-down restaurants, casual options, quick service, lounges, and pool bars. The Disney World deluxe resorts are classy, polished, and elegant, and the rooms are spacious. The Disney Moderate Resorts offer smaller rooms at approximately 314 square feet, lovely landscaping, a moderate level of amenities and dining, and are some of the largest resorts on property. The Value Resorts have the smaller rooms at 260 square feet, food courts, nice pools, and are comparable to nice motels. The Disney Vacation Club villas are more like home with separate bedrooms, more bathrooms, kitchens, and washer and dryer. Many vacation club villas are attached to larger resorts so guests can access all the amenities of the resort. You'll find more amenities at deluxe resorts than the moderate and value resorts, which include spas, health clubs, salons, nice shops, bell services, valet parking, room service, and special activities such as hotel tours. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're planning a Disney World vacation, be sure to watch our Disney World 101 playlist linked here to ensure you get everything out of your Disney World vacation. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys.